Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer, and today I have been checking out Megacopter Blades of the Goddess, which is out now on Steam. £11.46, which is currently 15% off, and there's a free demo. As always, before we get into it, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to the channel as I get my next target of 20,000 subscribers. And hey, why are you there? Why not drop this video a like? Right, let's get on with it. So this game plays a little bit like Desert Strike if the developers were on some sort of drugs and it played far too much R-Type. It's got the controls of that, but it's got the shoot 'em up bullet hell type thing of R-Type going on. And they decided to make the helicopter bloodthirsty and sentient. I would say on the whole, they've kind of nailed that 90s feel. And sometimes when you're playing with it, you can imagine you were sat in an arcade in like a pizza or something in the 90s playing this game. So the game works on that Desert Strike type view. You have like a fairly decent sized map and you fly around collecting money, ammo and health. And then mainly killing things as you go for your bloodthirsty helicopter. The flying on the whole is fun. You can use a controller or wasad. And you'll be dealing with air and ground enemies, bosses, and a lot of cannon fodder. Sometimes you might have to defend, hunt down some units, or just destroy everything. There is a story here, but I could kind of take it or leave it. And I do wish there was a skip option for the cutscenes, because they got a little bit boring. Also, one small issue I have with the way the story and stuff's told. Sometimes the game will scroll the screen away from the megacopter to shift the perspective towards like a new event or person speaking, but it doesn't freeze the action, which is a bit of a problem because you can still be hit. And if there's a timer, the timer still counts down, which is a bit silly. I think that needs improved. Difficulty wise for me, as someone who doesn't really play a lot of shoot ups and doesn't really like them because I find them too hard and they overstimulate me massively, I found it quite tough. I have a habit of somehow flying into the bullets. <laughs> like the enemy's like, oh, I've totally missed you and I'll just fly into it and find it. And there's an early mission where you defend a pizza party. That was so, so hard. I think this game could do for a bit of a difficulty slider. So once the mission is complete, you can go back and you can upgrade your helicopter and you can swap loadouts. There's not a huge amount to talk about here, but it was functional for what it did. Graphics wise, I would say it looks decent enough. The cutscenes are well done. The maps look great. And there was a few different types like biomes and sometimes you're in deserts or cities and the animations flowed pretty well. I had no real issues here, but I think it would look better on a smaller screen. When I was playing it, I was kind of like, this would look good on the deck or on the mobile phone. Sound wise, the music is synthwave. It does get a little bit repetitive, but it's good. Game effects in the game are also all right, but I think there should be way more feedback to the player. Like when you're getting hit and when you swap between air to air and air to ground mode and stuff like that, I would have liked a few more effects there. I think one of the biggest issues with this game though is possibly the replayability. It really needs some sort of arcade mode and some option that lets you skip or strip the cutscenes out or skip the dialogue. I think at the end of each mission, it would also be really good if there was some sort of scoring or ranking system because it would really make sense in this sort of game and it would give you some real reason to replay. So in summing up, I'm going to say this one's not quite for me. That's not to say it's a good game and that's not to say it's not fun. It is fun. It is good. It's just not for me. I love a good goofy game, but I just think this one's aimed a little bit more at them shoot up fans who can deal with all the bullets flying around and stuff like that. It was just a bit too hard for me. But because that's more of a skill issue rather than the game issue, I think if you're into them shoot 'em up type games, you're going to really enjoy it. I think this is definitely worth a wish list if that's your sort of thing, and you'll know that from watching the gameplay. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got to say on the matter, and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.